Today, we're installing our fascia mount bracket system. No matter the size of the deck, fascia mounting gives homeowners more space by mounting posts to the fascia instead of a traditional surface mount. On this particular deck, the homeowners will have 12 more square feet of living space than they would with a traditional mounting method. There are three pieces to the fascia mount system. First is the outside corner bracket, which is used for outside corners of 90 degrees. Next is the line bracket, which holds any post not on a corner, including those on stairs. And finally, the inside corner bracket for inside corners of 90 degrees. This deck installation does not have an inside corner. To begin the installation, Chris sets joists perpendicular to where he will be installing the bracket and adds a board behind the joist for the line and end posts. Outside corner posts do not require additional boarding. Next, Chris holds the bracket up to mark the holes and then drills them. Because the bracket is so close to the ground, Chris installs the bottom cap plate first so he doesn't need to fit his drill in underneath the installed bracket. The bottom cap plate is provided to help keep insects out of the posts. Chris then places the bracket, inserts the bolts, and adds one under deck bracket to the line bracket mounting. Finally, he installs the washers and nuts, but does not yet fully tighten. Once the post is inserted, Chris will fully tighten the brackets. He then installs the outside corner bracket, but without the additional under deck bracket. As a reminder, you do need longer posts for the fascia mount system, so be sure to ask for fascia mount posts when ordering. If you do order horizontal cable, you'll also need to specify fascia mounting because you'll need a longer intermediate support baluster and a right angle section support. Once the posts are set, it's time for Chris to install the railing. You can see that in our Chesapeake railing installation video.